Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome to the Park Nasilla Resort and Spa here on the Ring of Kerry in Ireland. This is my hotel room, guys, so I've had a very nice stay here. I'll show you some of the sights around here. I got the drone up earlier on. And yeah, we'll be taking in the sights of the Ring of Kerry. If you're ever around the Ring of Kerry, you gotta stay here in this hotel. So yeah, we'll have a quick tour of the room and then we'll hop into the car because we have an event to go to, guys. Some very nice cars to show you in this video, okay? So let's go. Okay, so let's just have a quick look around the hotel before we hop into the car and head away. You even have your bathrobes there and your slippers. I'll be making a coffee before I go. Uh, yeah, so this, this is the beauty, guys. Just have a look at the view outside the window, look. That's all Kenmare Bay. Looks fantastic. It's a bit windy out there today now, but a uh, beautiful hotel. I've stayed here more than a few times. So uh, that is your bathroom there. Quite nicely done. So I'm just going to run quickly in next door because I'm going to knock on my uh, brother's bedroom and see if he can let me in. Yeah, he's a bit camera shy, my brother, guys. But that's his bedroom anyway. Look, have a look. Oh God, he must have dropped one. The smell in here, oh God. <laughs> uh, oh, he's got a fridge as well, look. He's got a fridge in there. And a safe in this bedroom, look. And, uh, oh yeah, look at the view here as well. He's got a far better view than my bedroom as well. Look at this. And he also has the balcony as well. So, uh. Yeah, this is a better room. I'll be taking this room the next time and he can he can stay in the pokey room that I'm in there. But, <laughs> but yeah, that's it guys. It's time to hop into the car. the Tesco car park we got a classic Peugeot here how are you doing oh the 104 haven't seen one of them in years so yeah we're parked up here the event is happening over there so I am attending the old school no the classic and old school Easter show that's what it's called okay and we have a very nice Toyota MR2 here as well yeah so let's go in have a look at the cars and uh, yeah it should be a good show Okay, so it's all going to kick off here shortly. Uh, you can see there's some cars already arrived. We have them pushing in this. I have an, uh, no idea what that is. Some sort of drift car probably. Okay, I'm just going to swing over here guys because we have a very nice Ford Escort Mark 1. <laughs> this is loud. This is from 1968. Oh yeah, great condition. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, <laughs> let's have a look at this. All right. Way! Okay, so that was Dooney Lucy. Uh, he does hill climbs in that car. Yeah, so if you want to check them out there, it's Lucy Motorsport. And uh, Dooney there just, as I said, he does the hill climbs. So yeah, that Escort is not a garage queen. That Escort is actually used. So yeah, let's go over and see who else has arrived at the show.
Motors there from 1986. The classic Sierra Cosworth. Now we've got a classic 3 Series BMW here. We have somebody pulling out there in a Morris Minor. The estate. And the Peugeot 104 is from 1981. This man here told me. <laughs> and he has the little model car as well, look. The little model 104. Very nice. I leave this in the car, yeah? Alright, thank you. Right. And we have a guy in a, an, an Alteza. The RX-8. Hey, how's it going, boys? Ah, hey. <laughs> Man, that's loud! Well, that's the inside of your 104. Yeah. So I just want to show you something else, guys. The engine bay here, look. You don't often see this, look. The spare wheel is sitting on top of the engine. Like, when did you last see that in a car like? <laughs> I've never seen that before. Oh yeah, can you? All right. Yeah, well, there you have it, guys. Uh, quite unusual, to say the least. Yeah, we always love the Honda. Tie bar Integra's boys. Very clean one there from 2003. How are you doing? Yeah, it's looking great today. Beautiful day today. 1995 Toyota going in there as well. And this is the old, this is the previous generation. <laughs> Driving behind him there. Some say the better generation. Oh, <laughs> the better generation. Integra Type R. Oh, that's from 1996. Okay, we've got another RS Cosworth Sierra here. Oh yes. That is class, guys. But, I think we've already seen the star of the show and we're not even in the show at the moment. And this is a Lada. Is it a 1502, guys? We've no idea what this Lada is. But it's absolutely class. Love the color. The wheels. Kind of a modern retro look to it. He has it all debadged. Is it a Lithuanian registration? Not too sure now, guys. What is the LV registration? <laughs> I've uh, no idea, but man, this is in fantastic condition. Absolute class. Yeah, so this is it, guys. We haven't even gone into the show, uh, and we already have the star right here in this ladder. And I don't even know what year it is. 1975. Is that yours? Yeah. Hey, I've got the owner behind me here. <laughs> 1975 ladder. Yeah. Jeez, man, this is fantastic. Absolutely love it. But, uh, yeah, so you're, you're keeping it here nice and cool, out of the yeah, sun. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, I love it. Fair play. That looks fantastic. Absolutely love this car. There you have it, guys. We've already seen it. That is the star. It has to be the star of the show. <laughs> okay, we've got this man coming in, and he's Daimler. Is this the V6? Oh, it's for sale, is it? Yeah, it's just straight six. Oh, it's for sale for six and a half grand. Straight six, guys. Yeah? Oh, good. I'll get a 10% discount, so thanks. <laughs> oh, is it? He said it's a straight six and it says V12 on the back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's gas. But uh, we've also got this Toyota Light Haze here with, with a bunch of trees hanging out of it. I've no idea why, but uh, there you go, guys. Do you want uh, any spare parts for your Toyota Light Haze? Yeah, come down to the show here, <laughs> check it out. Uh, that's from 1992. But uh, we've got a very nice Toyota Carina here estate. Yeah, is the Toyota Carina name making a comeback? Possibly. And then we have another Toyota Carina saloon beside it there. And that one's from uh, 1980. Minter of a car, mint condition. And 1984 Starlet. Rear wheel drive as far as I know those ones then we have a twin cam 16 Corolla beside it another minter and he's just parking up the Daimler there but we have a very nice uh, Nissan slash Datsun 260 Z uh, this is nice guys look at this this was up at Mondello yesterday and won best car of the show uh, let me just show you the sticker there on the front look modified live very clean car. Great colour on it too. Look at this. Yeah, so you do. Uh, you did have the 240Z as well, which would have had a shorter wheelbase. 
than this 260Z but I like that quite nice car then we have two nice Subarus here as well so this would these would have about 280 horsepower standard roughly in these we've got a tiny little sunroof on the top there as well look <laughs> yeah quite nice we saw this man in the RS Cosworth coming in already we've got a car here from 1910 this is a Wolseley huh? you see all sorts of this show from 1910 okay we're just gonna have a look around some more cars here on the surface car park and then we'll make our way down below to look at some more but we have the Talbot Sunbeam there this is a 001 there for the Cork Rally the West Cork Rally and we have the Seat Leon Super Copa now you probably remember my spin around Mondello in one of these Neil McMullen's car, fantastic. But uh, I've no idea who owns this one. But yeah, quite a nice livery on it. Then we have this trike here. Uh, look at the rear tires there. Three, four, five section tires. They're probably off a Lamborghini Countach, are they? I don't know. <laughs> it's 88 euro to tax this for the year as well. Uh, yeah, nice trike there. So I just want to walk over to this. Uh, this is quite an unusual French car here. Um, this is your Simca Arond, it's known as Elise. So uh, this is from 1956. It's got a four-speed gearbox and it's for sale as well on done deal for seven and a half thousand euro. But um, it's in quite good condition for its age. But yeah, what do you think of this? The Arond. Yeah, so it doesn't have a lot of power, guys. There's only 48 horsepower in this four-cylinder engine. But yeah, if you want more details on this, go on to done deal. It's for sale for seven and a half thousand euro. But look beside it as well. We have a 1994 205 GTI. These are a classic Peugeot, really like them. And the Starless GT Turbo beside it. Yeah, and we've got a Ford Fiesta. We've got the Audi Quattro there from 1982. 1994 Celica, another Celica beside him, and we have the 1996 Mitsubishi Evo there, very nice. Uh, we have a 2017 i8 as well, and the Toyota Supra 1992, really like these. 2.5 twin turbo on this. Oh yes, love that. Okay guys, check this out, we've got a Ford, this is a GPW. Yeah, so not to be confused with the Willis Jeep. This is a Ford, but uh, yeah, from 1944. Very nice. So we're just down here in the basement car park. Uh, I got down here a bit late guys and there's a lot of cars gone. So yeah, the car park is fairly empty now. We have a nice 911 over there. But look behind me guys, we have the Talbot Sunbeam. Now Owen Murphy and Anthony Nestor from last year's Killarney Historic Rally won the rally in this car. So a uh, fantastic achievement by them. Absolute classic Talbot Sunbeam there. And we have another Talbot there beside it. But uh, yeah, nice to see that. If you haven't seen my video from the Killarney Historic Rally, then click on the link up here and you can check out that video. But um, yeah, very nice car. Ah, uh, yeah, and we have this uh, Zephyr. I'm not sure what year that is. 
I found out what year the Ford Zephyr was. It's 1961. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, right hand drive as well. Now you don't see many of them around here. Pretty cool. And um, we have a bunch of twin cams down here. Let's just have a quick look at them. That's from 1984. Then we have 1983 twin cam. And we have the Apex twin cam. The Truino here. The Sprinter from 1984. And we have a 1981 Ford Capri pulling off there. So yeah, as I said, I just got down here. <laughs> All right, lads. <laughs> Not too bad. Cheers. No problem. Cheers, guys. Thanks. But uh, yeah, I just I got down here way too late, guys. And uh, sure, half the cars are gone. Hey. Oh, we've got an old Ford Granada here. Look, from 1974. Hmm. God, I haven't seen one of these in years. Yeah. What size engines in this? I wonder would it be a 2.8. I have no idea. It's automatic anyway, guys. We know, we know that much. <laughs> and we have another twin cam there from 87. There's a bunch of twin cam Toyotas in, at this show, guys. Huh? Um, uh, I saw this earlier as well, this Mark 1 Ford Escort. Okay, we've got the Ford Granada. I found out it's from 1974 and it's a 3 litre, not a 2.8. Yeah, it's looking fantastic, isn't it? Okay, we've got the 1996 Toyota Celica GT4 pulling off. And we have the 260Z. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, we've got the Ford Escort pulling off there, the Laser. You'll remember them from the 80s. We've got this guy in, a, in an MG and the smallest caravan I've ever seen in my life behind him. A nice E30. BMW there, 1989. And oh yeah, there's a Opel Manta there behind them. That looks well. And yeah, that's more or less here at the show. I think we are just about done here now. Look at this, huh? Okay, so these guys are getting ready to head away. We've got this Vauxhall Tigra. Yeah, not your ordinary <laughs> Vauxhall Tigra. Uh, this race is a Tipperary Raceway, he was telling me. It's got a two-liter engine in it. But, uh, yeah, it'd be nice to have a spin in this, wouldn't it? Oh, yes. Nice color scheme on that one. And, yeah, they have another one over here as well. This is based on a Citroen. Just way down there. Let's have a look. Yeah, so they're just heading away, packing up for the day now. Now that's one way to travel guys, the Seat Leon Super Copa is heading into the back of this bus. Wow, some job. Okay, that's where I'm going to wrap it up today from the classic and old school Easter show here in Ballancolig in County Cork. We have Aidan Hallahan just pulling off here. You see that Citroen Saxo on the back of the trailer? <laughs> he races that at Tipperary Raceway, it's only got 700 kilos. It only weighs 700 kilos and it's two litre engine and it's rear wheel drive and there's no windows in it either <laughs> so it gets a bit hairy when it's wet when it's wet but uh yeah pretty cool talking to him okay guys i'm gonna wrap it up there i do hope you enjoyed the video and i will chat to you all again on sunday morning for another video yes we're back to trucks hundreds of them to show you in that video guys check it out on sunday morning but until then take care and thanks for watching guys cheers Parknazilla Resort <laughs> Say hello to Bonnie the dog. Hello. Whoops. Like what is this? An R an R on, is it? It's for sale anyway. Let's put in a bid there. <laughs>